This is, it's always, when people say, I'm not really interested in politics, it doesn't matter. You don't get to choose. You don't get to choose. You don't get to bow out and say, well, I, I, you know, it's not my thing, so you just don't vote. Right. Guess what? There still is someone making these decisions. Yeah. yeah. It just happens to not be you. What you're doing is you're putting your fate in the hands of somebody else. Okay, let's get to your letters. Advice is needed. All right. Hey. Is this one me or you? Love your content, my man. All right. I think you meant to say love your content, my guru, but yes. I'll let it slide. We'll, we'll it's close. Slide. I have one question for you. I'm only 21, and I honestly don't care about politics at all. Is that a bad thing in the long run? Appreciate the time. Well, I don't need to appreciate it that much. This was a very short letter. Um, <laughs> and we won't give you much time. I, you know, I always find it funny when people say, I don't care about politics. Or, man, I don't want to talk about religion and politics. You know, that's not really my thing. I don't really, it's, it's not interesting to me. I don't care about it. Let me ask you this. Do you... Um, not care about being able to speak freely without fear of retribution from an authoritarian government? Do you not care about your God-given right to self-preservation, the ability to defend you and yours? Yeah, yeah. preach. Right? Do you not care about the world that your child, your potential future children could be living in? I don't mean that in like yeah. the gay green sense. I mean like actually in the sense of the state of the country and their God-given freedoms and rights and that those are maintained. Do you not care about those things? Those things don't affect you at all? This is, it's always, when people say, I'm not really interested in politics, it doesn't matter. You don't get to choose. You don't get to choose. You don't get to bow out and say, "Well, I, I you know, it's not my thing," so you just don't vote. Right. Guess what? There still is someone making these decisions. Yeah, yeah. It just happens to not be you. What you're doing is you're putting your fate in the hands of somebody else. Yeah. And if you've gone your entire life and never thought about the issues uh, of, by the way, what's your opinion on murder? Have yeah. you ever pondered the idea of what constitutes murder? Right. These things should matter to everyone who is a human being and cares about the world that they live in. And that being said, unfortunately, today, you have people in, some would consider them ivory towers, some call it the swamp, who are making these decisions that affect everyday Americans. Yeah. And it's often very ignorant where you have people say, like, well, I don't know why people make such a big deal. I, well, they have never done anything that's affected me. That's not true. <laughs> they do things that affect you absolutely all the time. All the time. <laughs> and some, you know, this is something else, too. That is important if you're emailing the show, I assume you have some kind of an interest, and maybe you have more of a cultural interest than political yeah. interest. But young people tend to either, uh, they tend to break off into two groups, which is why it's so, it's, uh, so inspiring to see so many people who are sort of, you know, they call them red-pilled, people who are conservative, sort of anti-authoritarian. You're seeing this, this spread quite a bit. It didn't exist when I started on YouTube in 2009. But typically, and this was for a very long time with young people, uh, as it relates to voting, you have people who are either A, disinterested, like yourself, and then the people who are proactive, the people who actually do engage and vote, do so very selfishly. Yeah. And what really bothers me is there's this myth, people, I think, falsely attribute the quote to Churchill, if I'm not mistaken, it might have been like a French philosopher, I, I don't know exactly where it originates, but the quote, if you're, uh, you know, if you're, when you're young, it's something like if you're young and you're not a liberal, you have no heart, if you're older and you're not a conservative, you have no brain. That's, yeah. it's, that's a simplified <laughs> version like of it. That, yeah. It's attributed to Churchill in a meme, it's not actually Churchill yeah. who coined that phrase. Um, I disagree with that. I really disagree with yeah. that. This is, it's also why I have a problem with this idea of compassionate conservatism that people say, well, hold on a second, compassionate conservatism. The, the idea that conservatives aren't compassionate, that they, that they don't have a heart. Well, let me ask you this. Um, who do you think lives more selfishly? Well, we're talking about why people are voting, who has uh, pure motives in their heart. Who lives more selfishly? The 22-year-old college student or the 40-year-old dad of four? Let me ask you this. Who in your experience on your day-to-day -day, lives as a more selfish person? Who has to think of others before their own needs? The 26-year-old uh, young professional woman who works at a marketing firm in New York City? Or the stay-at-home mom who's 35 years old and has to keep track of the bills? Who do you no. think, in your estimation, wakes up every day and has to esteem somebody else first, has to put someone else's needs above their own? People do become more conservative as they get older. That is absolutely true. Mm -hmm. But it's not because they become more selfish. People say it's because they accrue net worth. Well, sure they do, but they aren't billionaires. These aren't people who are voting right, yeah. for lower taxes because every single person who's yeah. over the age of 45 is a billionaire. What does happen is people become more conservative as they get older because they don't have the luxury of living selfishly. Yeah. That's yeah. what bothers me, and it bothers me when conservatives concede that ground, and it bothers me when people who consider themselves apolitical say, I'm not going to engage because it doesn't really affect me that much. Yeah. yeah, it does. And you've got some Bernie bro down there who's getting a degree in gender studies, who's contributing <laughs> nothing to yes. the world, who is engaging under the guise of wanting to help the downtrodden because right. he wants his degree to cost him a whopping zero dollars. Yeah. Why do you think it is that college students want free everything? And then adults, young, even young adults, by the way, if you look at young adults who have kids who are married, they also tend to be more conservative. Because
because they have to worry about people other than themselves. And they yeah. understand that Washington, D.C., allocating that money to whatever the cause du jour is, is not going to help other people as much as this person can providing for their family. Tired yeah. of that myth. The idea that conservatives are selfish and liberals are inherently more generous. Really? They're spending somebody else's money. <laughs> yeah. Look at people and what they do with their own money and look at how they live. You tell me that you believe the church going 45 year old father of four is more selfish than the college student, the low information voting block who goes for the DNC. Because guess what? Yeah. If you don't vote, you're handing that baton over to them and giving them complete control. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, click one of these other videos playing in a box, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You may be wondering why after this outlandish video, this is such a straight end card. That's because we've recently learned that end cards actually determine the YouTube algorithm as it relates to controversy on a sliding scale. So we have uh, a yellow and it escalates all the way to the word f